Right, now what we're going to do is talk about how to do one of the things that you need to be able to handle for the exam. Given the pressure, you should be able to figure out what the boiling point is. Or given a boiling point, you should be able to figure out what pressure is necessary to make that. So let's do that, keeping in mind that this is true. A liquid will boil when its vapor pressure, that's this line, is equal to the pressure of the air atmosphere around it, be it whatever it is. This is sea level, or this is like in a pressure cooker, it would be up here, or down here, it would be like on top of the mountain. So this is the thing that must be memorized. When vapor pressure equals surrounding pressure, it boils. Now here's how that actually looks like. Suppose I want to know what the boiling point is. Let me justify why the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius at sea level. At sea level, the pressure is 760 torr. That's the unit we used in this graph is torr. The way I would determine that if it hadn't already been shown for me is I would trace this line over, this pressure line, to where it intersects with the waters, vapor pressure line, and then trace down to see what temperature that is. And it goes straight down to 100. So that's why I know at this pressure, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. What if I lower the pressure to 600 torr? Well, I trace it over to water, trace it down. And now instead of 100 degrees, let's see, it's just past 90. So I'll estimate it at about 92 degrees Celsius boiling point. So at 600 torr, water boiled only 92 degrees Celsius. What if I lower it to 300 torr? Well, I find 300 is halfway between 200 and 400, so I trace it over until I meet the water line. Trace it down. And at 300 torr, water would boil at less than 80 degrees. Let's see, we'll estimate that as approximately, mm, let's see, this is 70, 75, maybe 76. 76 degrees Celsius boiling point. At two, let's see, maybe at 100 torr, water would boil at approximately, let's see, what is that? 40, 50, 57 maybe, at 200 torr. Okay, so this is what I mean. The lower the pressure, the lower the boiling point. If you were to do a higher pressure like up here, the boiling point would be some temperature above 100 degrees Celsius. So when we say water boils 100 degrees Celsius, we just mean here at sea level. Now this is true for water, but you can do this for any of the other substances on the graph. So suppose instead of water, what if I wanted to find the boiling point for, uh, let's say, ethylene glycol, or maybe ethyl ether or ethyl alcohol? All right, I'll do the example for ethyl alcohol. What if I asked you at 500 torr, that's here, 500 torr, what's the boiling point of ethyl alcohol? So you 500 torr, trace it over till you find the correct line on the graph, that's here and then trace it down and see what temperature that is. So that's about 70 degrees Celsius. Now there's going to be some variation in what one person estimates versus another. So as long as you're reasonably ballpark close, it's fine. 70 degrees boiling point. 70 degrees Celsius boiling point is what this is. BP is the standard abbreviation for boiling point. Um, that's how you go about calculating it. So. Based on that, you should be able to try, say, maybe one for diethyl ether. So find the boiling point of this stuff for 400 torr. The answer to how you do that is find 400 torr, trace it over, trace it down. This is 20, this is 0, so 10 would be about right here. So we'll estimate about 15 degrees Celsius boiling point approximately 15 degrees Celsius okay so that's one way of doing things with this graph now I did say that you're also responsible for figuring out what 
pressure is needed to get a particular boiling point. Like consider this. Water boils at just under 70 degrees Celsius on top of Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world. So what's the pressure on top of Mount Everest? We can estimate from this graph. So you find, if I tell you 70 degrees, you find 70 degrees right here. So trace that up to the water line and then trace that over to find what pressure that makes. So let's see, that's 200, this would be 300. So I'll estimate that's about 225 torr is the pressure on top of Mount Everest based on the fact that water boils at 70, about 70 degrees Celsius. Another couple of things to try? Here, let's do just a couple of examples. What temperature do I need to get this stuff to boil at, sorry, what pressure do I need to get this stuff to boil at, oh, say, 25 degrees Celsius? Okay, so what if I want this stuff to boil at 25 degrees Celsius? Yeah, 525 first, so if that's 20, that's 40, this is 30. So 25 must be here. So I trace 25 up, 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 find the line, and then come on over. This is going to be a little over 500 torr, so we'll call it maybe approximately 510 torr would be necessary for making this stuff boil at 25 degrees Celsius. Now again, this is an estimate. If someone were to say 520 or 505 or something like that, it'd be completely acceptable, but it gives you a general idea of how the process works. Or let's do a third example. And you, the viewer, you know, I'll set up the example, pause it before you see the answer, and then you can see if your answer is correct. Mm, I'll do ethyl alcohol. What pressure do you need to make ethyl alcohol boil at 40 degrees Celsius? So I find 40 degrees Celsius, trace it up to the ethyl alcohol line, trace it over, trying to keep it more or less straight. And let's see, so that's zero, that's 200, so 100 must be here. So this looks like it's about 150, oops, not degrees, torr would be the pressure necessary to make ethyl alcohol boil at 40 degrees Celsius. All right, that should be a good explanation for how to use this graph to figure out boiling points based on if you're given a pressure, or figure out a pressure if you're given a boiling point.